Mwikuku. Aye yo. How did you feel today? Go to obey the game. So bad. I feel so bad. I feel so bad. I feel so angry. Hi. For what? What I happened? To, what happened to them? What happened in the Friday night? Because our daddy, remember, daddy came back and said the truth. They begin to pursue them. But I see people are killing people every day night. They cannot talk. Who is Bishop? Onaga. Onaga. Metonda. Fire you. You, you will die this night. So you are, not, you are not happy over what is happening now? I say if I see Onaga today, I will kill Onaga. If I see Peter today, I will kill Peter B. Let me see how Peter B will win this election. If our daddy tell you that see what is happening, what is happening. You will talk, come to secret. Let you discuss with him. You need to pursue that. And the girl is in the prison. You cannot think. Think about it. This somebody that Holy Spirit is a prophet. The Holy Spirit dwells in him. He's a king. And the many people, are many people are dying under his own seed worship. He has never responded. But we wonder why he responded this one so quickly. Let me tell you. What can you say about it? Hello, viewers and subscribers. This is Evil Television. Did you hear that? That's one of the followers or supporters or members of uh, Adoration Ministry that is being championed by Father Eji Kembaga. These are extremists. Would I call them Christian extremists? We don't used to have that in Christendom. But uh, this is kind of a breeding ground for this uh, form of extremism that is not good for Christendom. We don't need this in Christendom. And uh, what is happening in Islamic religion, we should not import it into Christendom. And uh, for all what is worth, this is very, very condemnable for threatening on a live television, live broadcast, that he will kill the Bishop of Enugu State and it will kill Mr. Pitobi if he eventually sees any of them. This threat should be taken seriously. I'm sure the security agencies are already on it. But that is a story for another day. Now look at this. How do you explain that a young man is so embittered and ready to blow himself up and kill everyone around him? This is it. We must in all sincerity condemn this form of uh, extremism, fanaticism that is breeding. If it means uh, curtailing this uh, adoration ministry, giving the guideline to operate, so be it. Because I'm sure this guy is not alone. There are still thousands or hundreds of people like him in this same gathering. Of course, you could see the, the background. Uh, there was a, 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 there is ongoing protests right now over there, as you can see, which means that uh, he is not alone. There are thousands of others out there that are very, very bitter, that are ready to fight and kill and destroy just because of a uh, suspension of uh, adoration ministry that is being championed by Father Eji Kembaka. Of course, earlier today, Father Eji Kembaka had just came out to dissociate himself from the protests, that whoever is protesting, he didn't sanction that. Yes, he said that earlier today. So, we're going to be following this up and bring you up to speed on the latest developments concerning this uh, uh, protest and uh, issues arising from the suspect.